Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and iOS 18 has just been released on beta one and here are 10 of the coolest features that you will find on this update. Before I get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like the video. And of course, if you want to see more coverage on iOS 18. And now let's get started with the first feature, the control center. We have a whole new control center on iOS 18 and it offers a lot of more customization options as well as different pages where you will have different things like you will have your controls right here we have our music and then you will also have things like connectivity and all that stuff so it's actually really really cool and more useful so right here we can go ahead and edit the control center you can see we have all the different controls right here we can change any of them make any of them bigger of course we can also remove remove any of them or rearrange any way we like. You want to add more, you can just go ahead and add controls here. You can have different things like I can add a voice memo here or I can make any of these controls bigger and of course place it anywhere I want. You can see how cool that is and of course it gives you way more options than the previous control center on iOS 17. It's really one of the biggest features that you will see on iOS 18 with a lot more options for you to actually add your stuff that you need here and have everything in control. And finally, we have the ability to customize the lock screen buttons. You can see right here, I have a button where I can turn on or off the dark mode on my device. And I have another button here for the calculator. Now you can actually customize these buttons for each of the lock screens that you have on your device. So simply go to edit one of your lock screens and then you will be able to actually edit uh, these buttons. So when you go to edit, you just tap on customize and right here where you change your wallpaper or change between different styles, you will be able to even remove both of the buttons or just tap right here and it shows you a ton of different controls that you can add right there from your connectivity right here to your display. You will have your shortcuts, different sounds, the translation button, your utilities. You will have pretty much everything you might need to have in control or right from your lock screen. As simple as tapping one button, you can go ahead and select that. And now you have a new configuration of buttons on your home screen. Now, Apple just announced a ton of new AI features and Siri features that are coming to iOS 18. Unfortunately, that is not what now, Apple just announced a ton of cool new features that are coming with AI and Siri on iOS 18. Unfortunately, those are not available on beta one. They will be available during the summer. As Apple said, that should be probably beta three or four. That's the time I'm expecting Apple to add these cool new features to iOS 18. But you can expect things like the ability for Siri to control apps. So within the apps, you can just require Siri to perform different actions. Then you will have the ability to edit your photos using Siri, ask Siri how you can do certain things on your iPhone. Let's say you don't know maybe how to create a PDF or how to print, let's say a file, you can just ask Siri, it will give you every direction that you need to do that and also chat gpt is now integrated within siri that again is coming a later on now one really cool thing that we have been waiting for a really long time is the ability to now lock apps with your face id or touch id or a passcode simply 3d touch on an app and you will have the ability here to tap on require face id that way anytime you want to open that app it will require the face id in order for the app to be used now another really cool thing is that now you can also hide apps not just hide them from your home screen, you will be able to completely hide them from your device. So again, simply 3D touch on any app, tap right here on require face ID, and then tap on hide and require face ID. Just authenticate here. So just like that, it will automatically hide the app. And then you go to your app library and right here, you will have a folder with your hidden apps. Now, if you tap right here, it will require face ID just to actually open that folder. And then it will display you the apps that you have hidden there. And that way you can open any app that you have hidden on your device. Now, what's really cool is that finally you can place your apps anywhere you want 
on your home screen. So just drag the apps or even the widgets and place them anywhere you want. You no longer have to have your apps rearranged any way Apple likes. You can finally just put the apps wherever you need them to be. Now what's really cool is also a new dark mode for your icon. So just go to the edit mode on the home screen, tap on edit and then go to customize right here. And then you can choose automatic here or you can choose dark or light if you just want to have one look all the time. But if you just choose automatic, then this will work based on how you're using your device, whether you're using it on the light mode or the dark mode, the icons will also change to that mode. And you can notice right here, the third party apps don't actually have that effect, but pretty soon all of them will be updated, of course, with this cool dark mode that actually looks really, really nice. And you can also tint the icons with any color you like. Again, you tap the edit button right there to customize them. And you can go to tint it right here. And you can just select any color you want. And of course, here you can choose the strength of the color. And just like that, you can customize your icons any way you like with iOS 18. Now, another thing that Apple has done with icons on iOS 18 is the ability to have larger icons on the home screen. Again, you go to the edit button, tap on customize and tap on large and that way you will have larger icons. And what I like about this is that it actually does remove the labels from the icons on the home screen and they look much, much cleaner. So if you just want to have bigger icons and not have a ton of labels on the home screen, you can just do that. And as easy as that, you will have a really nice looking home screen without any labels. And a feature that has been required for a really, really long time on iOS is finally here on the iMessage app. The ability to actually schedule messages. So you type a message just like you would normally do. And then all you have to do is tap the plus button right here and you will find a button that says send later. Now you tap right here and it shows you the exact date and time picker. So you just go ahead, pick the exact time and date when you want to send this message. All that's left to do after you have done this is tap the send button and then it will be sent at the exact time and date that you have selected. And last but not least is the new passwords app. Apple has added a new stock app on iOS. It is the passwords app where you will find all your passwords, not just passwords. You will have your Wi-Fi passwords, codes that have been sent to you, like verification codes. You will have your secure notifications. You will have everything there in one place if you want to see them. And of course, your deleted ones right here, your secure notifications, as well as a search bar where you can actually search for any password that you might have saved on your device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some of the coolest new features that Apple has added to iOS 18. Of course, there are a lot more features that we have to talk about and we will discover in the next few hours and days. And of course, a ton more features coming with the new beta updates that Apple will release during this summer so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one